this I'm John Wanamaker, and uh, this is my playthrough of Alien, the Commodore 64. And uh, right when you boot it up, it's uh, got this crazy theme. I really like it a lot. Um, but it's it's kind of spooky. Um, you know, it's it's definitely not energizing. It's not really like. And then also, we live in, like, Sis? We Dremx? <laughs> I think the font's a little messed up. But it has this kind of existential quote right at the beginning, and along with the music, it's a little... It's trying to be a little, ooh, sci-fi, spooky, scary. Um, <clears throat> so I believe that the, the way that this game works, um, it's, uh... Basically, it has this kind of systemic way of trying to keep track of all these different people. And the alien, I think, is is hunting, you know, these uh, these different people. And then there's obviously, just like the movie, there is this um, evil, yeah, like, cyborg that's on board. So, with my limited knowledge of how the controls work, because I hate emulators, <laughs> um, we're just going to get right into it. Um, I think this button works, if I'm not mistaken. Where is it, this one? Okay. Um, you know what? I have no idea what button is what. Okay, well, I never does it never doesn't mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I did not press any button. I just went to it. So, from here we can kind of check all these different people on the, on the, on the crew. So let's check on Ripley, because... I love Ripley. Um, and it seems like we can. It seems like she's going to be moving to corridor one. And also, if I hold down the A button, it does this crazy thing. So I hope you don't um, get sick from that. Um, so they seem to have like um, uh, this special, right? So they're able to kind of. Oh! Cool, I can go over here, um, I can get this item, and then I can, I can not, I'm not going to use the incinerator, I'm going to just move to corridor one, is that possible? Can we do that? No? Okay. Well, this is a little confusing, mostly because sometimes it doesn't, oh, and, okay, so I believe that they're moving systemically through the system. If I'm not mistaken, so uh, if we go back and we go to Ash, Ash is just kind of chilling out here. Um, but essentially, this game is trying to be like this um, survival game, actually, um, which is kind of cool. It's it's I've never seen a game like you know you hear about all these amazing 80 games, 80s games, but. You know, the Commodore has like a ton of stuff, which is why I chose it. I love the Commodore, and they have such weird games. But um, this is oddly I think I can can I tell him to use certain things? No. I can assign things to him. Oh, you can't blow lock one and blow lock two. Okay. So it seems like they have like special abilities. It's such a cool concept, um, but it's really hard to understand what's going on, which is kind of scary at the same time because you're like, I have no idea what's what's going to happen when. And um, it does have this. It has that constant shh sound, you know, and it's um, it definitely puts you in a certain mood. And there's not that. There's no like music. It's all ambient. Right? Like, it's a very spooky. Um, and it's trying to kind of replicate that theme that the movie has, that, that horror theme where you're kind of being hunted. Right? And that's super interesting. I just really like this. Um, I'm surprised not other games have done, like, the whole management of these different people. But this seems to be more of a... Um, uh, yeah, get the fire extinguisher. I think I get to like check in on people and like try to help them and if they have certain things like I can say remove the grill but that's not doing anything so I'm pretty sure 
I'm just trying to figure this out as I go. Like, you know, if I didn't look at the manual, which is like kind of what you're usually supposed to do. Um, but as you can see, he's moving, they're moving around and it seems like they have their own goals. But if we can, can we move you? Can we go? Can we go? No? Okay, I'm pressing like all the buttons, man. Whoa, what the hell? Okay. Oh, override detonation? Okay, so it seems like I have a weird ROM where it like is doing certain things. So there's this constant flashing yellow, which is a little scary, right? So it has this like, oh, you can change their kind of goal, right? So it seems like that's the thing. There's, there's not much control over these people, right? It kind of leaves a lot of stuff out of your own control like you can't really move them to corridor one he will be moving to corridor one and this kind of outside look of like this character is not you know you can't really do much um you know so let's go over um indicate location so let's go over to dialysis force <laughs> sign uh so let's try to help him Let's see if we can, yeah, so they can, basically, these two guys can override the deton, uh, detonation. So just like in the movie, they wanted to have this, um, you know, uh, this thing. So, so they even give you, like, stats for these, these characters, I guess. It's like morale confident. Um, yeah, morale, yeah, it's just this weird type that's all <laughs> weird and long, uh, morale confident. Um, also here Ripley so it's like Ripley's also in this middle deck area so what if we say get item and we use get tracker that's a, that's an A oh whoa okay uh, that's very spooky um, and I'm already like kind of feeling it so I have no idea what he's using okay has a reading okay uh, uh, okay. Can you, like, go over here, man? Okay, this is a little spooky, <laughs> but it's using this in a really, really interesting way, like that beeping, right? And it just, like, it's really, it's using the sound design in a very, very impactful way. Um, this is really cool, but I don't like this noise, so we're just gonna let him die. If he has a reading, <laughs> I don't care. Uh, oh, I guess... Oh my god, okay, so it really is tracking between, so you have to really go back to sign, Kane, sorry, it looks like an eye. So let's go over to Kane. Dude, stop with the, with the beeping, it's really bad, I'm so sorry. Um, so let's go back. Um, and now that he has this tracker, right, so we're using the tracker, I know you have a reading man. But can we go over to corridor one? Is that possible? Where did he find? So scuttle? I don't know what that means. So that means leave item. Okay, now they don't have a reading now. Or if we use the tracker. So it seems to be, the alien seems to be moving around systemically, um, and the damage on him is none, but now Kane has a reading again, so it looks like the alien's back here with us. So we're just gonna keep going. But this game is using, you know, sound and, like, these kind of, like, it's really, really basic graphics, but it's really actually conveying a lot through its uh, design. Um, it's very, very hard to control, and there's menus upon menus upon menus. Um, but this kind of tension is really, really done well, even though it's such small, low, low res graphics, right? And like A's that look like eyes. <laughs> so, you know, there's this awful, awful beeping, and I'm so sorry about that. But let's let's go over to Lambert. He's doing nothing. But I, I heard, I read, at least, um, that if, um, 
that there's one guy that's randomly a robot, which is really interesting. So this game is completely built off of systems and the unpredictability of systems, which is kind of similar to Clock Tower in a way, right? Um, and I think this like this kind of more oh, it's a you're trying to survive. Like I can't really move the characters, right? I don't have much control over what they do, um, and I don't have control over. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So you can kind of choose what they do, but you can still, um, you know, you can't really do much with them, right? I think you can, if I was better with the controls of this game, I could probably do a lot more, but at face value, this game is doing something very, very interesting. Um, so let's try, I know Kane has a reading, but it's, dude, I went, I went to Kane and he was not doing anything. So, why don't we just go back, Kane, 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 there he is. So Kane has a reading. So override the detonation, I know that that's like, okay. And then, what if we go over to Ripley and then we use the, right, just like in the movie, she uses the flamethrower. No. Oh yeah, okay. So, you can order them to do certain things, but I guess they don't really do it. Oh, okay. Uh, Alien is attacking Kane. <laughs> okay. Oh no! <gasps> okay. Oh, that was actually really scary. Um... Okay, uh... Use incinerator, incinerator. Use that. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Oh wait, I have to attack. Hold on. Attack. Incinerator. Incinerator. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. You're not, you're not gonna do that? Okay. Use the incinerator. And also it looks like he's like offering you up like a nice little like, he's like come over here. Come over here. Hold on. Um, but it's this, it, this is really interesting for such a like a, a chill game. Uh, so why don't we go over to, oh, I guess, uh, Kane is like still alive somehow. Oh, Kane collapsed. He's fine. Uh, Ripley, you need to get the f out of here. Okay. Um, can you attack? Can you like leave? Can you can you leave? Can you use the tracker? Can you go over to corridor one? I can. I can't move her. This is weird. Okay. Great. Uh, Ripley's gonna die. Uh, I'm really upset. Cool. Okay. Uh, and Ripley, uh, is dead, it seems. So, we're gonna... Kane, I can't go to. Ripley is now not there, so my entire screen is black. This is, obviously, pretty cool. Um, but I just... I really wish I had some more control over this. Um, but I really don't. Uh, so let's go over to Parker. Can we, like, go somewhere, man? Like, can you just move? I got them to move in, like, the other time. I think they just moved randomly, um, and for some reason none of the buttons that I'm pressing are doing anything, so... And the alien's attacking Brett, so Brett's gotta go, Brett's gotta move, um, but I can't move them anywhere, so... Um, oh! Okay. Grill removed. Oh, I guess you can, I guess you're moving between the grills. Okay. Well, I'm learning a lot. Um, so why don't we remove the grill? Can we do that? Can we do that? Yo. Can we, can we do that? It seems to be very strange. Like, it's very finicky. I'm pressing the button and it's not doing it. But the alien is attacking Brett. Great. And so we have to go over to Brett. Okay. That's, oh, and, uh. Let's go back to Brett, see, hopefully he's live. I know he's wounded, but this is very interesting as a survival horror game, right? Um, I think it's it's doing it in a management way, right? Which is, it's pretty cool, especially for the, the, the crew of Nostromo.
Can we take another bite? She goes, hmm. Hmm. This is... Okay, so this is not working. Uh, I have no idea what button I should be pressing because these emulators are weird. But this is super interesting. This, this concept of, you know, managing all these different people and not really having so much control over when you will be hit is really, really, actually, extremely, um, you know, uh, see, I, see, it's like, oh, go south, right, and I can't do that for some reason, it's very strange, um, so, why don't we, we go up to Grille, nope, that's not working, um, but Lambert sees Jones, so the cat is actually involved. Um, but we can we can see that this is actually. What if we go over to induct Lambert? So let's quit that. <laughs> I have no idea how to move these different people. I'm trying very hard over here, but um, it still stands that this kind of like isometric approach of like having all these different characters and then having the alien actually come over and start attacking people, right, and like be in the face of the player, um, and then you know when this is when this is happening, like, there's no, there's nothing. It's like, it's quiet. It's just like, you know. Oh! Oh, whoa, the cat showed up on screen! That's amazing! Um, I forgot what the cat kind of means. Oh, I have to get Jones. Oh, no, 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 get Jones. <laughs> get Jones, don't attack. Just get the cat. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, he's gonna die. Um, Lambert's gonna die. Um... But Parker saw Jones. Hold on. I wonder if you can get Jones. Um, but having all these kind of random events happen and having them be set up in a way where you're trying to figure out how to, you know, work together, work all these people together to get off the space station, I guess, is the most... It's the best thing to do. And also having Jones, right? It's... You know, obviously they were really trying to understand um, how to make the horror elements of Alien come out in a game form, and I think they did a very good job, actually. Um, you know, um, it's scary. There's like this this atmospheric music. Um, it has the theming of horror, even though it's this 8-bit kind of you know huge pixels that cover up most of the screen type of type of game. Um, you know. Uh, I don't know what the T-O-O-H means, um, but I be, believe it's like the, maybe it's the countdown timer, because it's going down. Um, oh, I can get the cat. Nope, I can't, because <laughs> I, oh my god. This game it is like actually not recognizing my input sometimes, but it is for other things. It's very confusing. Um, but right, like, these people are completely dead. I can't contact them at all. So this, it adds this kind of more and more stress that you can't really control. Um, so the mechanics are surprisingly, you know, horror um, theme, right? They're not directly happening to you, but they are, they are, um, it feels like they are, especially with the alien jumping in your face when you're, you're getting attacked. So I think this game is really actually um, pretty pretty amazing in how it approaches this, and it and it takes this that you know this idea of horror from movies and is trying to you know put it into systems of games and and it's doing a really good job. Um, you know it's these tight corridors and this kind of like urgency to move and get everybody out of the way it's it's really really impactful and this like atmospheric weird music is freaking me out still <laughs> um 
I do think that, you know, the input could work. If, it, that, if that could work, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> but until then, we're just going to keep doing this. So I hope you enjoyed Alien. That was my playthrough. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm not very good at this game. My emulator's weird. But I hope uh, you got something out of it. Bye-bye.